G'day mate, my name's Margie and I'm an Australian currently living in America. Today's video is part two of the Bluey family tree history deep dive that I've been doing. This video is going to be focusing on Chili Healer's side of the family as well as her children, Bingo and Bluey. If you haven't already seen part one, it focuses on Bandit Healer's side of the family. So I'll make sure to leave a link for that in the description box down below, as well as a card up here. Part three of this as well is going to focus on Trixie Healer's part of the family as well as her children with Stripe. So to make sure you get all those videos, hit that subscribe button down below as well as that bell for notifications so you know when those videos will come out. With that being said, Let's get started. Starting off with Mum Goal's character Chili Healer, also nicknamed Chili Dog by her father and uncle Stripe. Chili is assumed to be about 43 or 44 years old, as in the episode Fairy Tale, she looked to be about the same age as Bandit, who was 10. This would mean that she had her daughters at around age 37, so perhaps her and Bandit didn't meet and get married until their 30s. Her design is a red healer and she takes after her father's colouring for her belly and spots. Initially though in the pilot, she didn't have the brown spots. Her first appearance is in Magic Xylophone where we see her show off her sick dance moves for the first but not last time. She is one of two characters who's had her biography on the official website change. The initial biography read, after having kids, Chili's recently gone back to her job working at airport security and juggles this with raising her two little pups, which means sometimes she falls a bit short of what her other mother friends are able to pull off. This was later updated to remove the more negative comment about her falling short on being a mother, and it now instead reads, mum often has a wry comment about the kids and antics or a kind word for an overwrought child, but she's equally at home throwing herself into a game and always able to see the funny side. I'm not surprised that they changed her biography as it wasn't really the nicest thing to write and it shows her in more of a negative light. However, they have also shown more of Chili's involvement with the kids in season two and season three to make up for the lack of it in season one. As her biography states, she works at airport security. We know she doesn't like her boss as she stated that she would like to freeze him in Magic Xylophone. And and she also has a very needy co-worker called Madge. This job is a very cute play on the idea of sniffer dogs at airports, but it is unknown what exactly her role is at the airport. Other facts that we know is that Chili grew up in the scrub as a bush kid and did go on vacations to the same caravan park as Bandit. She also enjoys traveling internationally to places such as London, Italy, and Bali. She loves to play hockey, go for runs, and walks along the beach. She is a very active and healthy dog who loves her salads. Interestingly, she is seen the least out of the family on the show and is also the only one out of the family that doesn't have a name starting with the letter B. She has an amazing angry face that she whips out to great use and she doesn't mind saying a small cuss word around the kids such as damn it in the Australian version of Sticky Gecko. However, it was removed from the US version. As a kid, we know that she likes She-Ra and as an adult, she is very independent and likes to solve problems as shown in the episodes Bingo, Tickle Crabs and Driving. There's also a little bit of a theory that she's maybe a little too flirtatious with Lucky's dad, but really she is absolute couple goals with Bandit as they smoochy kiss quite often in the show and they're always very affectionate towards one another. Out of Chili's parents, only her father has appeared on the show. We find out in season three that his name is Mort, but he is most commonly referred to as Granddad. He is a red healer as well with spots like Chili's and lives out on the bush on a farm. We can assume that the farm is maybe near the Sunshine Coast as the healers are able to drive to it and his friend Maynard, who has a shack on the farm, also happens to work quite close to Bluey's school, which is up north, about an hour drive from Bluey's house. We know that Mort is retired and in his season two episode Granddad, we learn that he has had some heart problems and surgery, but he is an old codger and refuses to take a break. Chili is obviously still quite close with him and even says how she still needs him, which could possibly hint at the fact that she doesn't really feel like she has any other family members to talk to. We know Mort tends to stay on his farm as in season three episode Phones, he says it's been a while since he's visited the city and he's quite fascinated with how the internet has taken off. From quotes and pictures on the show, we know that Grandad Mort was a soldier and due to his approximate age, it's assumed that he was a soldier during the Bluey Verse version of the Vietnam War. This is backed up by his statement in his episode where he tells Bluey and Bingo, I could have used you kids in the jungle. In the episode Sticky Gecko, we see a very large picture of him in his military uniform and learn that his favorite saying in the military was hurry up and wait. It is also possible that he received the honor of a Victoria's Cross as we also see that hung up in Chili's entranceway. However, because he is still alive, it could be assumed that 
it would be in his house, not hers, so perhaps it belongs to our next character. Grandad Mort was married to Chili's mum, whose name we do not know, so we will refer to her as Grandma. The very first time we even see Grandma is in season three when all of a sudden, Chili's family photos have appeared on the wall next to the Victoria's Cross. My current theory about this is that Grandma has passed away already sometime in the last six years, which is why we only saw Grandad alone on the farm and why he visited the healers alone in season three. From the picture on the wall, we can see that she was also a red healer with a single brown eye patch like Chili's. We can also tell from her solo picture that she used to ride horses. I believe that the Victoria Cross on the wall could be hers and perhaps that is also how she met Grandad Mort during the war. It is a very rare award and is the highest award in the Australian honors system. So perhaps Grandma received this award and when she passed away, Grandad gave it to Chili as a keepsake which maybe might have been the same reason that her and her sister stopped talking. Grandad Mort and Grandma had two kids, as we see from the picture. Chili Healer is the youngest, and the eldest we learn is her sister Brandy. The very first mention of Brandy is in Bluey's Big Play, which was a stage show only in Australia. We know that this show is canon, as it was written by Joe Brum, the creator of Bluey, and he did say in a podcast as well that the play needed to happen before season three. This fits in with the fact that for the first time in the show, we see a picture of Brandy on the wall in season three, as well as the rest of Chili's family. She looks very similar to her mum with a large white belly and there was some debate as to whether it was her at the end of the fairy tale, but the age wouldn't really line up because she looks to be at least two years older than Chili and the coloring as well was very different to what we saw in fairy tale, so it's more likely that that was Chili. All we know about Brandy is that she has met Bluey but her and Chili had a big argument and haven't spoken in a long time. So at least around six years if she did meet Bluey. I have some theories as to why this is, but I'll discuss that in a theory video coming soon. At the end of the stage show though, we see Chili calling Brandy and we hear Brandy pick up the phone before the show ends. We can guess then that they have made amends seeing as Chili's family photos have now appeared on the wall for season three. As for Brandy's kids, well, it could have been possible that Rusty was one of them. Why? Well, it's all based on Rusty's original bio. Bluey's cousin from the bush already rides a motorbike. Seeing as Rusty has the same shape design as Bluey, but with what could be red healer coloring for fur, it would have been assumed that he was a cousin through Chili's side, thus making him Brandy's son. Also, Chili and Brandy grew up in the bush and Rusty's bio does state that he lives in the bush and that could provide further evidence to Brandy still living out there as well. Now, unfortunately, this has been debunked twice, first by the person who actually wrote the bio saying that they made a mistake and thought because of the similar design that they were cousins, but in fact aren't. And we also meet Rusty's mum in season three in the episode Explorers. Still, perhaps Brandy does have children and we will meet some red healer cousins in the second half of season three when they maybe come and visit Chili and her kids. Speaking of Chili's children, let's start off looking at her eldest child and the namesake of the show, Bluey. We learn in season three, her full name is Bluey Christine Healer, with her middle name being Nana Healer's full name. She's also the first person in the show to have their middle name said, with Muffin being the second, but we'll talk more about Muffin in the Family Tree Part 3 video. Bluey is age 6 in the first two seasons of the show, but in season 3 we see her birthday party where she turns 7, and we also see a glimpse of Bluey when she is 19 years old at the end of the episode Camping. Bluey's website biography reads, Bluey is a six-year-old blue healer pup who loves to play. Her parents and teacher give her lots of time to practice, which means she's become very good at inventing games, helping everyone choose their roles and deciding the rules. Her favorite games are ones that involve lots of the other kids and grown-ups, especially her dad, and she mainly likes to pretend she's a grown-up doing grown-up things herself. Bluey's also a little bit bossy at times and likes to take charge of games, as we've seen in the episode Circus, but she's also quite compassionate and a really good leader. She is almost the same blue coloring as her father Bandit, as well as the yellow, and she has navy spots that look a little bit like Mickey Mouse, just like her mum Chili. Bluey has also had many names in this show, such as Dr. Bluey, Janet, Barnicus, Dennis, Rhonda, Marjorie, Karen, and Margaret. Whilst Bluey is a girl, she is quite often mistaken by audiences as a boy. Even the subtitles in episode one mistake her for a boy, as well as labels on toys in stores. This is due to the fact that she is blue, like her dad, and blue is often seen as a boy color. This common mistake is referenced in the episode Double Babysitter by Uncle Rad, who mistakenly calls Bluey a boy because she's blue, and Bluey corrects him by saying that she's a girl. And I think this is a bit of a wink to the audience from the creators who realize that this is a very common mistake as well. Throughout the season, we have learned a lot about Bluey. 
Her favorite animal is a fruit bat, her favorite brekkie is fruit salad, and her favorite colored capsicum is yellow. It also seems that she struggles with reading, as it's mentioned in the episode's takeaway and bus, and possibly she also struggles with writing still too, as she's very excited that her big bunny Mia can write. Bluey does karate and has progressed from a white belt to a yellow belt, as seen in the episode Bin Night. And she is currently in preschool at a Steiner-style school in the Glasshouse Mountains, approximately an hour's drive from her home. Even though Bluey is the main character of the show, it really doesn't always focus on her, but more on her family and their relationships with each other, or even Bluey's friends and their family relationships and friendships. Being the main protagonist though, Bluey has never made an absent on any episode. She has, however, been absent in four of the shorts, such as Peapod Sausages, Green Bottles, Moa, and Honk. Bluey is also named after a real dog in Australia called Bluey, who lived to nearly 30 years old and was the oldest dog to ever live. Also, to protect the privacy and for safety reasons, the identity of Bluey's voice actor is kept a secret from the public, unlike many other children's TV shows which reveal actual names of child actors and actresses. Still to this day, her identity is still a mystery, and the same goes for the other voice actors of many of the children, including Bluey's sister Bingo. Bingo Healer is the younger sister at age 4 in season 1, but in season 2 we see her at her 5th birthday party in the episode Handstand. Like Bluey, we also see an older version of Bingo at the end of Daddy Drop-Off. However, we get to see her at multiple older ages and learn that she goes to university and gets her degree. Possibly in nursing or medicine, as she has been shown multiple times in the show to enjoy role-playing as those occupations. Bingo's design is similar to her mother's red healer colouring, and according to some on the internet, she was initially designed to be male, not female, but it was changed. Her biography reads, Bingo is Bluey's younger sister. She is four years old, well, five now, and a red healer like her mum. Bingo also likes to play, but she is a bit quieter than Bluey, so is more likely to be the customer than the shop owner. Sometimes though, when Bluey asks her to be the doctor rather than the patient, she really enjoys it. When she's not playing, you can find her in the yard talking to tiny bugs or off lost in her own beautiful world. Bingo loves to play and is usually more passive. And according to the season three episode Mini Bluey, she is also less annoying and more willing to do chores than her sister. Bingo is a very sensitive kid as we see in multiple episodes and she is not great yet at speaking her mind or feelings, but she is learning to use her big girl bark more. Bingo has also had many nicknames in the show such as Slubber Dubber, Sparkle Shot, Lan, Rita, Snowdrop, Sherylander, Dr. Glenda, and Marifindor. Bingo is also the only character to get her own separate title card in season two. She loves bugs, can only count to 14, and loves a good bush wee, but still needs some help going to the toilet. She is the first character to be shown fully crying as seen in Sleepy Time and Pass the Parcel, and we learn in the Easter episode that her favorite color is blue. Bingo is very active like her mother as she does ballet, gymnastics, and mini hockey. She still stumbles on her words sometimes saying trificult or funny sentences, but one of her best lines is this is outrageous. Bingo also has the most affinity for magic on the show as she is the only one who can see fairies. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm really curious though, which of Chili's family are you most interested in learning more about? Is it Brandy or Chili's mum, who we haven't really seen much of yet? Or do you want to get to know more about Grandad Mort, maybe his younger self? Please let me know in those comment sections down below. I myself, I, I want to see Brandy and I think we might see her at the end of season three. Fingers crossed anyway. Again, don't forget to go check out part one. And once part three is out, I'll have that link in the description box down below. Or if it's already out, I'll make sure it's in the video boxes here. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.